okay? Now, this one honestly would not be that bad to just distribute the 6x to the 4th into your parentheses and then just apply the power rule. But let's just use this as a simple product rule explanation. This is our first and this is the second. Okay, they are being multiplied. Okay, that's why we apply the product rule. So, f prime of x is equal to the first times the derivative of the second, well the derivative of the second would be 24x cubed plus the derivative of the first, keep it in parentheses, 21x squared plus 1 times the second. Okay, now as far as simplifying this, Anytime you're trying to simplify these expressions, what you should look for first is do they have anything in common, okay? 24x cubed and 6x to the fourth, they have a GCF going on. Okay, we can take a 6 out and we can take an x cubed out. So when we do that, we are left with 7x cubed plus x minus 14 times 4 plus 21x squared plus 1 times x. When we take out that GCF, that's what we're left with. Now we need to simplify what's in our brackets there. I'm going to drop the brackets. Okay, if I distribute the 4, I get 28x cubed plus 4x minus 56. And when I distribute the x, I get plus 21x cubed plus x. And then it's just a matter of combining like terms in my parentheses there, and I will be finished. So 6x cubed times 28x cubed plus 21x cubed is 49x cubed plus 5x minus 56. That is our final answer for the derivative. Now, yeah, technically we can distribute the 6x cubed, but the whole point of this was to kind of keep it in similar form to the original problem. Okay. Now, if you had, at the beginning, distributed the 6x to the 4th into your parentheses and applied the power rule and then factored out a GCF, you should get the same, same answer that we have there. So that was a very, well, probably doesn't seem like a simple example of the product rule, but it, it kind of was, okay? Uh, so let's look at another one. H of x is this binomial 3x minus 2x squared times the binomial 5 plus 4x. Yes, technically we could FOIL that and um, then just apply the product rule, but or apply the power rule, but let's apply the product rule. This is our first, this is the second. So h prime of x is equal to the first times the derivative of the second. I'm not going to put parentheses here because the derivative of the second is just 4. Plus the derivative of the first. I do need it in parentheses because it has multiple terms. Derivative of 3x is 3. The derivative of minus 2x squared is minus 4x times the second. Now, this one, unlike the other one, it really it doesn't have a GCF. Okay, It doesn't have a GCF, so the only thing that we can do to simplify this is to distribute everything and simplify. 
So that gives us 12x minus 8x squared plus 15, I'm going to FOIL, 12 minus 20, negative 8x minus 16x squared. <clears throat> and they combine like terms, negative 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. That may be factorable, but I really don't care, because it just asks for the derivative. The only time I'd worry about factoring it is if the answer choices were in factored form. If it's just an open-ended question, leave it like that. Don't worry about it. question. All right, so we have a product here. 2x times cosine of x is a product. Okay, that is the product of two functions, 2x and cosine of x. So y prime is going to be equal to the first times the derivative of the second, so 2x times negative sine of x plus the derivative of the first, the derivative of 2x is 2 times the second, cosine of x. And don't forget about that other part of the function. It was minus 2 sine of x, so the derivative of minus 2 sine of x is minus 2 cosine of x. Now, technically, you could apply the product rule to 2 sine of x, but the derivative of a constant is 0, so it's just doing more work than you have to do. Okay, um, So check it out. That's nice. We've got plus 2 cosine of x minus 2 cosine of x. Those cancel. So our derivative is simply negative 2x sine of x. That negative with the sign needs to go to the front. So it's negative 2x sine of x. Yes, ma'am. quickly this will be how we end. Uh, here's an example of the product rule with three functions. x squared sine of x cosine of x. x squared times sine of x times cosine of x. So let's delve into our product rule with three terms. Okay. For the sake of order I'm going to start with the derivative of the first function. Okay. So derivative of the first times the other two plus the first times the derivative of the second one, derivative of sine is cosine, times the third one plus, now we're going to do the derivative of the third one, which is negative sine of x. Okay, so I did the derivative of first times the other two, derivative of the second times the other two, derivative of the third times the other two. Uh, now this is a little, let's see if we can do some simplifying tomorrow.